shimmering light Rest my head on my pillowcase again Talk me through one more night Pull my sheets over my head and plug me Telling myself it's just five more minutes. I'm feeling my eyes get heavy again, but we won't sleep. No, we won't sleep. Keep me up till 4 a.m. I'll stay up for you. Keep me wrapped up in my phone. Internal deja vu. Cause with the audio visual, it's something additional. I hear and see your point of view. Keep me up till 4 second with you is another minute another night you get me through i'll stay with you until the dawn until the dawn live i'm telling myself it's just five more minutes i'm feeling my eyes get heavy again but we won't sleep no we won't sleep keep me up till four In shimmering light Rest my head on my pillowcase again Talk me through one more night Pull my sheets over my head and plug me in Go live, I'm telling myself it's just five more minutes I'm feeling my eyes Again, heavy again, but we won't sleep. No, we won't sleep. Keep me up till 4 a.m. I'll stay up for you. Keep me wrapped up in my phone. Internal deja vu. Cause with the audio visual, it's something additional. I hear and see your point of view. Just five more minutes, I'm feeling my eyes 
Get heavy again, but we won't sleep. No, we won't sleep. Keep me up till 4 a.m. I'll stay up for you. Keep me wrapped up in my phone. Internal deja vu. Cause with the audio visual, it's something additional. I hear and see your point of view. Keep me up till 4 a.m. I'll stay up for you. Say, say I'll stay awake and watch these restless nights. starting has started and now we begin we're not really we actually sit here for a moment because big old goofball named me forgot to open up my model <laughs> thankfully though VC face was nice today and opened in like two, 10 seconds 15 seconds which is very cool anyways um rogue saw you got your hydrate thank you so much for that um Raven, as always, love you so much. Thank you for being here. Levy, nice to see you again. I don't actually remember the last time I've seen you, but welcome in. Very cool to see you. I recognize your name. Will, welcome in. Always happy to see you again. Very cool. I just got the model up and running, so let's go over to just chatting. Okay. Don't know why it glitched there. Is the model supposed to be like this? I, I can't remember if... Okay. Because you should know it's like this. Okay, it's like this. Okay. I look small for some reason. Do I look smaller than normal, Jack? Am I crazy? Or do I look smaller than normal? I think I'm going insane. Not smaller. Okay. I'm just I'm I'm losing it. I'm losing it a little bit, and that's okay. But it's nice to see all of you. Always happy. Welcome in. Gr glad to have <laughs> glad to have you all here. Um, let me turn on the music. Holy cow, that's loud. There we go. Okay. So small bean. I am a, I am small. It's true. We all are. Give me one moment. Okay. So, welcome in everybody. Before we start with the crafting and the mining, separately of course, uh, big announcements. Let me get my mic closer so you can hear me. Very cool things happened while I was offline. Literally as I ended stream last time, You'll never believe what happened. I'm gonna look into this. I, s I swear I'm not supposed to be this small. Oh, okay, there we go. There we go. I was smaller. <laughs> I was smaller. Oh, okay, that was messing with my brain. Let me tell you, working on a drawing, you're gonna see it very soon. It's the thumbnail for the seven year anniversary video. Um, some people have seen it. Uh, I've shown it to my friends. And let me tell you, there was a square that I was working with. And when I zoomed out, this is it. This is like four or five hours into this drawing. I was like, why does the square look off? Like I zoomed out and something about the square looked wrong. I kid you not, the square, this is gonna blow your mind, was one degree shifted like 
was one, was one degree rotated to the left. And my brain picked up on it. I don't know how. I don't know how or why, but my brain picked up on it. I have this innate sense for when tiny little details are off and it messes with my head. Anyways, super cool things. As you can see up in the corner, we did it. We hit 300 followers right after stream. I raided into Kane last. Uh, I raided into Kane last stream. If you weren't there, that was um, the 200th stream of Connection Points. It was an incredibly fun stream. More on that later. And right after I did, they shouted me out because they were very cool. And M followed me. If you don't know M, they're, uh, they're, they're somebody I've recently become friends with over there. And they gave me a follow. And so now we officially have the 300 follower mark, which means probably sometime in the next few weeks I'll get started on fairing out the community art drawing. I also need to figure out what the um, what the next follower goal is going to be. Because we've had this follower goal for a while. I don't actually know how long it's been, but it's been a while. So I need to figure out something for 350. But... Was there anything else? Oh, yeah. Another thing I noticed. I didn't... I didn't realize this until after, until as I until I was um, sending the bot over. But we streamed for four hours on Monday or on Friday, like just to let that sink in. I'm, I usually stream for two hours. It is now one of my longest streams ever, and I didn't even realize that. I knew it was like over three hours. But I didn't realize we basically hit four. We were at three hours and fifty-eight minutes. For reference, that is the same length of time as my as my Celeste finale stream. It took me four hours to get through the final level of Celeste, or I guess not final level, the seventh level, the one where you climb the mountain and do all that, where you the reach the summit, the one where you reach the summit. That took me four hours. It took me exactly like three hours and fifty-six minutes or something. So this is basically as long as that. Which blew my mind, because like, I'm happy I did that. It makes it even it makes it that much more special. That is now one of my longest streams ever. But that's so crazy. I didn't even realize that we did that. And on actual important notice, I have done some improvements to the VOD channel. Not crazy anything, but as you all know, or as most of you might know. Connection Point has been going on for almost three years. It has spanned 2021, 2022, 2023, 2024, and now there are 200 VODs of them. Roughly. <laughs> roughly 200 VODs. There's like maybe five or six that didn't get saved or so. Just because of just issues and stuff. But there's 200 of them. We've done 200 streams in this world, and it was getting to the point where the VOD playlist that I'd been keeping updated since I first started streaming Connection Point was now over 200 videos long. And I was like, man, that's a really long playlist. And it's fine, right? But it was getting to the point where I was like, I feel like I want to separate this. So I talked about this either last stream or the stream before that I wanted to separate it. And I originally was going to do like by the first hundred and second hundred, but then uh, was it Neko who suggested? I think I asked about like doing it by a year and I think Neko said like, yeah, sounds good. So I'm gonna send you all over there. Just if you want to, feel free to click on that. Connection Point now has four different playlists, 2021, 2022, 2023, and now 2024. Of course, 2024 is still open and ongoing because we are in 2024, but I thought it would be way easier to just see how my streams have evolved over the years. You can go to the 2021 playlist, and all of those videos are from 2021. You can see the different eras and stuff, which might be cool. You might like that. 
you might not care. But if you are somebody who likes watching VODs, prefers that over streams, I keep a list of 99% of my VODs. The ones that I haven't, I either forgot to save because of internet issues or some other wacky reason, but 99% of everything I have ever streamed over the last, like, three years is on there. So, if you enjoy watching VODs, you will love that. And yeah, that was all the big announcements. We're gonna grind today. Uh, we are getting back into working on the Nether Hub project, uh, as most of you could probably have figured out. We're probably gonna. I'm gonna sort out my inventory. Oh wait, we can save this. We can save this for later. Let's get. Let's get over to the mainstream. I'm speed running a little too fast. <laughs> I speak a lot on streams. I talk a lot. So, be prepared for that. Also, I was late. I was editing the seven year anniversary video, and then I looked over, saw it was 4.11, and was like, wait a minute. I was supposed to be streaming at 4. Wait, how did I forget that? So, I quickly finished up the, the edits I was doing and started a stream. So, yeah, that's why I was late. Your girl is editing. And. I'm really, really hoping I can get this thing done soon. As I said earlier, the thumbnail is done. I spent all of yesterday and like the first half of today doing that. So it's really cool. The people who have seen it really liked it. So yeah, but we are here for the Minecraft. So hello everybody. I am in the mailbox and this is connection point number 201. We're in the 200s now. That's nuts. That's nuts that we have made it this far. It is crazy. Um, if you haven't seen the last few streams, last stream we went looking for a skeleton spawner. Didn't work, so we wrote down some goals we had reached. And also... Made, finally, after six months, I kid you not. Another thing I found out... March 15th is exactly six months from September 15th. Why in the world is that important? Well, if any of you have been around in the last six months, you would know that on September 15th, I don't remember the stream number, that was the day I dug out the tunnel that we did yesterday. Yeah, that, that whole stream that I did, that actually, that worked with finally decorating this tunnel, it had been exactly six months since I had dug it out. And now look at it. Now it's done and it looks beautiful. If you did, if you weren't here last stream, this is what we did. I am so incredibly proud of it. I cannot express how happy I am with it. This is a style I want to work more with, especially in this area. I feel like it would work well as we clear out things and expand it. I want to keep with this style. I really, really like it, especially once we get the variants of tough in 1.21, I think that's going to work great. So probably in the later half of the year, once we finish the nether hub, we can just start working on farms and stuff for the base. I think that's going to be awesome. But today, we are going back to working on the nether hub. We stopped working on it a few streams ago, just so we could do some stuff around the base. And now we're going to go collect more resources today and do all that. So yeah. But first, I need to clear up my inventory. <laughs> my inventory is a mess. Which I fully expected it to be. It also just looks really good, I gotta say. I'm really happy that I went up and like decorated this whole area right here. Because it just, it brings so much life back into the area. Of course, a lot of this area I cleared the grass out of, you know, like three years ago. <laughs> or like two years ago, if not more. And so a lot of this area just hasn't had greenery or flowers or any type of nature in so long. It feels really good that we're starting to bring more of it back in and make it look nice along the way. So I'm I'm personally very 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 excited for this. It's a great start and I cannot wait. And holy cow I have a lot of materials left to put up. Well, I better get started. 
Okay. Copper. Uh, birch. Let's put oak away. Torches and crafting table can go there. Um, glass. Leaves. We got a five minute timer. Leaves there. Um, tough. Mud? Yeah, I guess mud bricks would go in here. Packed mud would go in there. Um, oh, yeah, and wool. Yay. Oh, wait, 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 and glowberries, glowberries, glowberries. Got it. All right. Dirt. We have so much grass. Wow. Oh, right. You put you back. Mouse is not clicking and off clicking. Actually, leave that off. You, uh, you. Stone, got it. Now pick up the last of it. Yeah! Okay. No items lost today. Of course, I only would do that if I knew I was going to be able to get it done in time. So, do not worry, that was intentional. Where do I put... There we go. Yeah, one thing I also really like about this space is how I've been able to expand it. Because, of course, when I started this, I didn't have a reason to have a armor trim barrel or a... Uh, or, like, a pottery shard barrel. Or what are some of the other ones I've added? Oh, yeah, a coral barrel having, you know, having the necessary stuff to do a cherry leaf there. As time has gone on, I've been able to collect more stuff, especially with all the adventures that we've gone on recently. And I really like that I had sp I have space left over to add to things as I as I have them. It's really nice. I like it a lot. It's nice that the I have made the storage expandable as I have as I need it. Very useful, in fact. Okay, stone. that down today. Uh, leaves and bone meal. Yeah, I think bone meal's okay going there. Yeah, we'll be fine. Okay, let's check the carrot farm before we head off. Is it grown? It is. Is today gonna be the day? I think I said, I, I believe I said last time that I was pretty confident or that next time was gonna be the time. We might be able to do it this time. And Neko is here. Hello, Neko. How are you doing today? And thank you for the hydrate. Have you been resting well today? I'm staring at you. Have you been resting? You've been taking care of yourself? That's good. 
I, I do hope you get some some better rest than you did last night. I have been there and done that. Not fun. So how many potatoes do I have left over? None. Okay. Today might be the day. We have we have enough carrots. I believe this should actually be enough carrots, so. Let's hope. Yeah, I saw your message today. Okay. How are you ending up in such various spots? Well, now I can't seem to get them just be in the right place. Come on, guys. Come on, gang. What are we doing? This hurts. I have an idea. I have an idea. I'm going to go over here, and I'm just going to throw them in the water. They should all collect in one spot. Why are you not collecting in one spot? I am not trying to duplicate them. No. <laughs> I am not I am not I am not uh, duplicating anything. I'm just trying to show off a cool trick that I found. Yes! Okay. Okay. Look at this. Very disorganized. This is going to look cool. I think today might be the day we do it. We've been trying to do this for the last few streams, but it's just not been working. Save world. Okay. This should work. I should be finally able to show off this trick, which I have been trying to show off for like two months now. It's very, very cool, and I want to show it off. It's something very silly, but I love it so much. Speaking of, I should do your hydrate. Thank you, Neko. Alright. Will it work? Please work. I've waited so long. I've gathered so many carrots for this. Okay. it's just not loading it so I'm gonna do this and I'm gonna try it again hmm I wonder if it's because when I did this it was on a server whereas this is I'm basically starting it up every time but I don't know well we really have to see because I know what it looks like and in fact, if this doesn't work, I will just go pull up a video I have of it. I know. I know. This is very weird niche behavior that I am just oddly obsessed with. Okay. I think this is going to be like the closest we get to it. Do you see that? Do you see how there's like interlocking rings of carrots going together? Usually it's a lot smoother than this. And it's annoying that it isn't that smooth. Okay, I am... It's supposed to be a lot smoother. I'm, I'm re I've been trying to show it off. But the thing is, every when I reload and try to do it, it doesn't work. Actually, I have a way it might work. 
I'm now thinking about it. And if what I need to do is not like turn off the game, but instead um, just unload the chunk for a moment, that might be, yes. There's a way that dropping a whole bunch of carrots, it looks almost psychedelic. It is one of the coolest things I've ever done. And I only, and I discovered this back in 2021 because I had like a, I had like a giant me, like mega manual farm that would just drop carrots at my feet, which is kind of what this is. Basically there is a pipe above my head in the uh, storage room and it would drop the carrots onto one spot. And I found that if I went on the server and logged out and then logged back in, all of the carrots would sync up together and it would create this beautiful, like, I kid you not, it was so beautiful. This beautiful, like, wave of carrots. It was the prettiest thing I've ever seen. And I've been wanting to show it off for forever, but we just haven't had enough carrots. But I am dead sure that this is enough carrots now. Now I'm just trying to get them to actually go in the same spot. You know what, I'll just do this. Carrot, 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 carrot. I don't know how they land in different spots, but they are. Although I suppose it could also be that there's no block there. Yeah, could be that. Let's try that. Yeah, here, let me, I'll see if I can get this working and I'll go into my creative world in a moment and show you the farm. Okay, those carrots are in the right spot. Yes, okay, okay, okay. Now what we gotta do uh, is sleep. Let's go sleep. Okay. I really should have slept beforehand so that I'm not wasting the five minutes of time on this on these carrots. Now I have my chunk border really low, or I have my um, render distance really low, so I should be able to just fly and f fly away and come back. Yeah. I just have to unload the chunks over here we'll fly over here for good measure this is way beyond the swamp and everything all right now we fly back all right up we go this this might work I'm hoping. I have hope. There it is. I, do we need more carrots? Oh my gosh. You can see it. This is this is the closest I've gotten it before. Oh my gosh, do I need more carrots? So many carrots already. How is this not enough? Although I guess, although to be fair, when the farm unloaded, there were like 40 stacks of carrots. Kid you not, it could almost fill up a double chest. So this is uh, and this is only 18 stacks. Okay. So 18 stacks. Do, oh gosh, do we really do need more carrots. Okay, we have to leave this here. <laughs> I promise this will actually go somewhere as soon as I can make it happen. But for now, uh, we cannot. Which sucks. 
Okay. I'm going to go show you that farm just because I... It's been a while since I built it. I built it all the way back at like... I think I built it around February um, 2021. It's been a while. It's an old farm. It's a really old farm. <laughs> all right. Let me switch over to just chatting while I'm doing this. Just for the personal reasons of my testing world has a lot of stuff in it. And I want to be careful. So, how's everybody doing today? What do we think the vibe is today? We've been going for uh, for 35 minutes already. What do we what is the vibe today? What kind of what kind of vibes are we getting today? I love EP vibes actually. EP or I guess most vibes do tend to be EP. Also welcome to Iris, how you doing? <laughs> I love that name by the way. That's an awesome name. Iris Sweetly. I like that one. Your name is the I think you know what your name is a vibe. I like it. Alright, let me switch back over. I have found it. My test world has a lot of stuff in it. This is the uh, this is the generally 2021 section. This is where I started this world specifically. It was around a lot of this stuff. You can see like a, a cafe in the back corner. There's um, there's the first there's the first bit of this farm. That was the original one I built for the redstone testing. And that this is the farm. You see this thing? This, this is like my magnum opus. I wouldn't say that, but it's the biggest thing I've ever built, redstone wise. This was my ridiculous semi-automatic um, crop farm. This thing is huge. I, I am tempted to show you it in action. Here's, this is just stuff that I had while I was building it. This is, that's a command block to replays to like, um, fill all of that in. If I, um, no, if I game rule, tick, no, sorry, random to a thousand. Or let's actually do 3,000 just to speed it up a little bit more. Because then... Yeah, this thing's crazy. Specifically, uh, this thing has a wild story. I... Alright, set it back down. So let me tell you a little bit about this. So I built this... Holy cow. The story is actually pretty old. Uh, when I first started streaming... I uh, especially yeah especially in early 2021 around the time I was streaming I was part of the Ender Tide SMP and one of the members wanted to harvest a lot of potatoes and so we 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 tried to start this little like competition of who could farm the most potatoes in that world actually I have a pretty decent potato farm but what I was going to do to kind of one-up the competition was build this massive farm underground and then just have this, like, facility for just pumping out massive amounts of potatoes that they could not keep up with. That was my whole goal. I never ended up building it on that world, but then later, near the middle of... Uh, near the, the... in the second half of 2021, when Wonderland was on its fourth season, I actually built this farm, and it was the coolest thing ever. It, it produced so much stuff. 
it was ridiculous. I actually, I don't know if we actually used it that much, but it made a lot of stuff. And I also was really into like alternative forms of redstone at the time. So like redstone with uh, logs and leaves, you can actually send, um, you can actually detect changes between logs and leaves. That's a real thing. And so I built the redstone out of it and I am really proud of it. <laughs> it is the funniest thing ever. Uh, here, let me show you. So it's got like a storage room over here. It has a floor down here. The redstone's a little bit broken. Don't mind that. And this is where you could go down and like replant the thing. Replanting took like 10 minutes because it's a big farm. And there's just like, you know, a little lever to go in and out, stop the water from coming up. And if you harvest it, this is the coolest part. You push this button and watch this. It harvests all of them. Creates a bit of a lag spike. It harvests all of them and underneath every single farmland block is a hopper. It is a hopper that is currently picking up the carrots and is going to shoot them down right here into this spot right there. Watch it. Wait for it. Should be coming in any moment now. Okay, that's abnormal. Why aren't the carrots coming? There they are. Yep. So they all just collect right here. Just like genuinely like 40 stacks of carrots all just piles up. Here we go. There they go. I was like, what? I was a little concerned that nothing was coming out. But this, this is the point. This is what I've been trying to do. Uh, because all they would go up, they would get harvested, go into a single water stream, come up, and then pop out in the storage room for you to collect right there. Now when all the carrots stop um, coming down, we're gonna fly away and I will show you the effect that I've been trying to show you. But this one's cool. I love it so much. Okay, yeah, we're gonna need way more carrots if we wanna do this properly. This farm, oh, I, I've probably showed it to you. Look at that, look how many carrots this thing makes. Hopefully soon it should um, end. Actually, this absolute this just ball of carrot this is a this is a unit of carrots that's so amazing I am I'm really proud of this farm even this to this later on okay are we I'm gonna turn on my render distance now Then I'm going to fly away. Get to see a bunch of the other stuff I've done, or like little bits of it. There's some in portals that I've designed. There was a showcase I did for one of my friend's mod packs. Here's another design. That design is actually on my channel. I made that in 2022 as a video. Here's some farms I've did. Here's a ring with every single ore. Also very proud of that. Now we fly back over. There's a whole bunch of stuff in my test world. So many things that I've made with redstone that I'm actually really proud of. It should be here. There you are. Okay. Did it work? 
there it is. Look at that. That is what I want to show you. It's mesmerizing. This is what I've been wanting to show you. My inventory is full, so I can't actually pick up the carrots, but this, <laughs> this is my ultimate goal. This is what I want to show you in Connection Point. They form together so seamlessly. It's, it's beautiful. And I've had this in the back of my mind for like three years. And I've been wanting to show, I've been wanting to show it for the last couple months, which is why I keep collecting carrots and trying to show you. Because it is the prettiest thing I've ever seen this game do. And all it is is just like 40 stacks of carrots all stacked together. It's so pretty. But yeah, anyways, that is the goal. That is, that is what I've been trying to do with all the carrots. It's so epic. I'm I'm so glad you like it. I am very, very normal about it. I, it was this one thing I found like three years ago, and I have been holding on to it in the back of my head. It's like one of the coolest things I've ever seen. And now I'm trying to bring it to connection point, like I do everything else. Also, Dihono, welcome in. It's very cool to have you. Uh, if you were confused about the singularity of carrots on the floor, that is the thing I've been trying to do in connection point with like throwing them in a singular space and everything. Basically, if you unload the carrots and get them to sync up at the same time, they create this beautiful illusion of this, like, wave of carrots. The pixels, like, blend together into a sphere. It is the coolest thing ever. It's like a hyper object. I love it so much. But yes, that is the end, that is the end goal. Start laying down carpet. Have a thing to do. Don't you worry. You go do your thing. I will be right here when you get back. And I'm glad you like the wave. I, I very much like the wave too. carpets down now in case we don't get any work any other work done today because I really want to get some work done. <laughs> If you're curious as to why I'm placing carpets, this not only lets you um, do your like do your soul speed of your soul soil running as normal, but it also allows the boat to not fly off the edges, which is very nice. Save catch up on. Thank you so much for being here, Iris. I highly appreciate it. I'm very happy you decided to uh, come in and chat today. Oh, you're always welcome back. As always, I hope you sleep well and yeah, enjoy the rest of your time. As I get beat up by magma cubes.
Thank you so much, Iris. I appreciate the follow a lot. See, that's what I'm saying. We we love amazing people here. And I'm gonna need so much more carpet. Four stacks of carpet, and I just barely made it past like this one. We're gonna need so much more. I should just do like an AFK. I still need to do an AFK stream at some points. Where we just like talk and let um, sheep and stuff happen. Although I guess I could also compensate that with just a um, with just doing a, a build in uh, near my base, because then the sheep would just run in the background. All right, we actually do need to go back because I do not remember where the mangrove forest is. And that's where we're going to head to collect some materials. Because I need lots of mangrove. Awesome. Book. I should probably keep that bed over there if I don't have a bed already. Oh, portal to mangrove. Nine sixty four hundred. Really? Oh, okay, yeah, times eight, that makes sense. Okay, nine sixty four hundred. Let's go! I should probably make sure I have more rockets before... Now, do I? I, I, I wonder if one day's... I haven't done my guard tick, my monthly guard tick this week or this month. I might do that this month or on Wednesday. I need so much mango to finish this. I'm... Okay, nine sixty. I didn't mean to take a screenshot, but okay. 6 rockets. Because if it takes us 6 rockets to get there, we're going to need at least 6 to get back. Okay, this has to be the spot. Ow. I lit myself on fire. be like over here or something. Did 
Which, hey, it only took us four rockets to do. Oh? I was definitely here. I was here! Yay! Awesome. It was being cold. Yeah, I was getting kind of cold on the nether. I'm glad the fire was there to warm me up. Okay. We're back. Mango Forest. I'm so sorry. We now need to... Okay, that lag was pretty bad. Okay. I think I'm gonna switch to duty. <laughs> Love this game. Love my setup. But I think I'm gonna switch to duty. I love the mangrove swamp too. The mangrove swamp is so cool. I've been over the whole rant about how mangrove trees are annoying, but I love the swamp. I love how crowded they made it feel. That's like the perfect feel for a swamp. To, for it to be crowded and cramped and just all over the place, to make it feel like it's a journey to get through, if you're not flying over it, that's perfect. That's like the best atmosphere. Almost done. Alright, so mangrove trees are collectively agreed on to be very annoying to harvest, but let's see what we can do this time. Okay. So I think we should at least fill up all of these slots with mangroves. And get rid of these carrots. Bam. Don't eat them. We should keep at least one stack of leaves on us at all times. Just for ease of access. PNG Willow is here. Okay. 12, so 18, 21. We're shooting for 21 stacks, at least right now. Holy cow, this lag is terrible. The world is going on today. And this will ensure that only mangrove logs are collected. So 21 stacks is our goal. Alright, next tree. And then of course the leaves are there so that we don't run out of blocks to build it. Because we do actually need those. This is also why we have the hoe, because it is just so much easier to harvest leaves by hoe. The hoe makes this journey, like, not suck.
so. There we go. First stack accomplished, one of 21. Now, as we just kind of mindlessly harvest this, um, yeah. I mean, I guess there's not a whole lot we can talk about in terms of, like, the future, because I'm saving a lot of that, actually. As much as I would like to talk about the... Or as much as I'm excited to talk about some of my plans moving forward, I want to save that as a little bit of a surprise. Because, well, the seven year anniversary talks about that. I'm going to talk a lot about, you know, the year I had since last March, all the way up until now. I think you are gonna like it a lot. I have a but I have a few videos lined up after it too, which are really cool. Bed. Oh yeah. Um, five. But it's been a long time. I will say, each time I remember how long I've been doing this, on one hand, I'm like, man, it's only been three years or so. Or like it's only been seven years and then i remember just like how much of achievement that is like that's actually kind of a hard thing to do like i have no doubt there's thousands or millions of people just like me who are you know maybe have a couple like a handful of subs and that's all and they just do it because they enjoy it and maybe they have goals to do something with it, maybe they don't. But either way, like, there must be so many channels out there of just people who are just like, yeah, I'm gonna make this my career. And. That kind of puts things into reality a little bit. Because, like, you might not want to think, like, there's lots of people like me. But there's definitely are. Like, right? There, there has to be. Even if you took away all of the people who are in some capacity successful, there would be probably hundreds of millions of channels still there of just people who are trying and are either like new to it and because I see them pop up and I recommend it all the time. People with like 20, 30, 40, maybe a hundred views on a video just playing Minecraft or doing some playthrough of a game or going live and doing something. There's... It's hard... It's it's easy to forget that there's... There's a lot of us. And I don't think there's any, like, anything necessarily wrong with that realization if anything that i guess the, i think that's healthy to kind of put it into perspective and just say yeah there are a lot of people like me it doesn't make my work any less valid right anybody who streams for the you know at least for the goal of streaming They, they probably want it just as much as I did. And all the people who've made it, who, they were trying or act or act only found it, and it just happened. It's not exactly one of those things that you can just say, yeah, it's gonna happen now, and just happen. I don't really think that's how that works. also think of it as like almost comforting you know I'm not the only one right? I think it's very easy to think I think especially in in any business but especially ones that are online um, 
I feel like it's very easy to get caught up in this fact of everybody's made it except me and I'm never gonna make it kind of thing. I feel like it's very easy to get caught up in that. Because of course, well of course you're gonna think like that, right? I mean, who are the people that you're watching, you know, who are the people that are streaming and you're watching, or the people who are making videos, or tweets, or Instagram posts, or any, any number of things, right? The people that you are watching do the stuff have made it some amount because they're being watched and you're watching them. No matter how, you know, what in the world that looks like or how big that audience actually is or whether that's actually like paying them enough or anything. The fact that they're being watched means, or that you're watching them, means of course they have an audience. They, they have in some way made it. And so it, would, it makes perfect sense that a lot of people get very discouraged by it. Because, well, you're watching people who have gone through the struggle and made it, but you are now only seeing the after, you know, the results of it. I think we're talking about two different things. Although, no, it's not entirely different. And I think you're onto something. Minecraft definitely has a huge part to play in that. You are right. I know when I first started out, I really wanted to be a Minecraft creator. Go figure. <laughs> it is basically my favorite game of all time, as it is hundreds of millions of other people's. It is a great game. Like, just objectively, it is a good game. Or I guess that would be subjectively. It's a great game, and a lot of people have been able to make careers off of it. So, you know, why wouldn't you want to do that? You know, this is a game that you like. Here comes around, you know, millions, tens of millions of kids and young teens growing up in the middle of this gigantic, you know, internet and YouTube boom, or social media boom. Minecraft basically spearheading a lot of it. Of course people are going to be like, I want to become a Minecraft creator in some way. That just makes sense. But then, because of that, it's, it's also less likely that people will see um, your stuff unless you have a follower. Because of course. <laughs> If there's so much to watch, the algorithms will generally, re will, you know, show more people things that have been watched more. Yeah. As people watch something more, it gets recommended more. Doesn't mean it's impossible for you to see something that is smaller or isn't as big as other things. It just means it's not as easy. Speaking of, Raven, I love you. You're the absolute sweetest person ever. 
you're incredible. I love you so much. Thank you so much for the tin gift. That's so sweet of you. All right, let's see who all got the gifts today. Okay. So we have... Is that protagonist with the Q? So protagonist. Will got one. Dihono got one. Jeff got one. Corgi Lord got one. Don't rec I, I kind of recognize that name, but it's been a while. Iris got one. Mystical. Is that your? I recognize that one too. Mystical Pickle got one. Toy Box got one. Zenaton. I sort of recognize that, but it's again been a while, and I definitely recognize um, DJ. I'm just gonna call them DJ. I, it would be really hard to forget the the um, the word the uh, the letter spam that that name is. That is a name that is I remember fondly. I don't remember where or why, but it definitely is in my brain. Yeah, you know what? If anybody's here that got um, that got a gift sub from Raven, go send them a little bit of the thanks. Knowing Raven, which I do. They do it purely out of the kindness of their heart because they like spreading things, but still, I'm very thankful for them. And even if they do it because it is their choice, it is still something they should be thanked for. Because it is a very nice thing. Basically, I'm not letting you get out of some nice thank yous and uh, compliments or anything. You are, it's too bad. You ain't getting out of this one that easily. talk my my TED talk for the day oh yeah one I mean I think it is very obvious that like one a lot of people aren't gonna make it when they want to I think anybody has the ability to become at least Anybody has the ability to gain a following and be at least semi-noticed in some way. I think anybody has the ability to like achieve monetization on any of the platforms. And it's it's not impossible. Did you, did stream crash? I've been over here talking. Did it? Oh man, did did stream crash or do anything silly? I hope it didn't. We okay? We good? Everything all right on uh, on your end, everybody? <laughs> it didn't. Okay. Uh, Streamlabs just did a welcome to the chat room thing, and I was like, that only. It likes to do that sometimes when there isn't a crash, but that is usually what I see when a crash happens.
I can usually tell if it is a crash or isn't because when it isn't, or when it is, the uh, the whole chat like goes white, my overlay of it, and then it like refreshes, and then it will do the welcome to the chat room. But I still like to make sure because uh, you know I'm over here giving important life lessons. We we can't have we can't have chat just not working. But like I was saying, I. Uh, I think anybody and everybody has the ability to make it if they really want to. That, of course, says nothing about how hard it is to do it and how much of it is genuinely luck-based. Because it is. It is a lot of time sunk, money sunk, effort sunk. You basically have to go into it expecting nothing in return. Because it's such a... It's so easy to... Just not? Or... What am I trying to say? I'm, I guess it, I'm just trying to say it's, it'd be, it's really easy to like rush into it and think you're gonna get it immediately and then also not rush into it but like get like get a little bit of something like maybe one video um, hits the algorithm and goes trending or something or you know a couple like something gets picked up or a, you know maybe some people that you know that you stream with or you make videos with maybe their stuff pops off or they're bigger than you and so you start getting stuff it's very easy to think that like that's it and sometimes that is sometimes that is genuinely how somebody gets their starts but in a lot of cases it is, is it is you have to work with the punches and they're brutal sometimes. And of course, I'm saying all of this as somebody who on YouTube has 120 subs and on Twitch has a 302. So I don't know anything. <laughs> I know very, very little about what it is like to manage any sort of success or, you know, do any crazy things. I just, I haven't gotten there yet. I know people who have, and I know people who do. Okay, my elytra just stopped. Hey, 300 is a very big celebration. Don't, don't don't get me wrong. I'm very proud of it. However, if you are looking for somebody who has um, achieved more with that, I'm not the right person. <laughs> Maybe one day I will be. But for now, it is, <laughs> it is, it is not. I'm not the right person. I am mostly just kind of talking from what I know, which I guess is what everybody does. But at the same, so yeah, <laughs> it's brutal. It is not an easy thing, and I would say it's actually really hard. <laughs> to achieve things. Some people, you know, are able to find it easier than others. That's not any fault of anybody's. That is just how it works. You know, some people start their careers after they've had like a couple of jobs and are really and are already in the field that they want. And maybe they pick up YouTube and Twitch as just like a way to uh, express themselves more freely or like just pick up a side hobby. And then all of a sudden, that pops off and it's like man how they do it so fast a lot of people that do it really quickly have prior experience and then other people have been doing things like youtube and twitch for years and never went anywhere some people just do it as a hobby which is all totally valid 
there's not one set way of doing it because there's not one set of way, one set way it can go. And earlier I was saying like I believe that anybody and everybody can do YouTube. However, I will add on to that by saying I don't think it's cut out for everybody. Or I think anybody can do it, but not everybody should. Kind of like, It, it takes a lot to run something like this. And I say that as somebody who uh, can get behind in uploads, is not the most consistent with schedules all the time, and sometimes, you know, just very normal things. Somebody who is not perfect and somebody who has a lot of growth still left to do in my uh, searching for doing this as a career, I have a lot left to do. I do not do it perfectly at all. However, I do know the limitations of it. I do... I've been around the block enough times to know... kind of what to look out for and what I should be striving for, at least, a little bit. I'm not... After, after seven years of this, and you know, after three years of this specifically, I'm not new to it anymore. And I think, like a lot of people, it would, be, have, it would have been very easy for me to, you know, get like a year in, or maybe like six months, or a year, or like two years, see myself get up to like 200, maybe 250, and be like, nah. This isn't going anywhere fast enough, or whatever metric, you know, it's not working, it's any, any, any kind of thing, right? It's not something that everybody will do. And I also don't think it's cut out for everybody. One, because I just, I, well, obviously not everybody is interested in doing it. People who stick with it have some reason to stick with it, but I think in a lot of cases it's it's not for everybody. In that, like a lot of people live in hobbies, a lot of people just don't find this interesting. But also, not everybody, when they start, or I think nobody at the start, really knows what they're going to do or how to do it. Because, you know, as a kid, you wouldn't expect a kid to know how to do this perfectly. I, I mean, I wouldn't expect anybody to know how to do it perfectly. But especially, like, a young adult, or a teenager, who, you know, watches their favorite creators and is like, I want to do that. Or, you know, does something. You know, you know, um, sees like their favorite band do music. I mean, it's like anything, right? You watch something that inspires you, you're like, I want to do that. And you realize it takes a lot of work. That's one of the biggest things that you do growing up, is that a lot of the things that you watch, you realize they took a lot of time and effort to get there. And if you want to do that, you have to put in that time and effort more than you know how to. And it is not easy. And again, not everybody will make it. A lot of people don't. I think anybody can, but not everybody does. In fact, most people don't. Most people are probably like me. Genuinely, not as like an ego thing, but like I feel like most, like a majority of all streamers on the platform are like me. They are small, independent people who maybe want to do it as a career, maybe want to do it as a hobby, and have less than like 500 followers or 500 subscribers. And are just doing it because they want to or they have some dream of doing it or whatever. 
for however long they do it. Maybe they do it for a couple months or a couple years. Whoever knows how long. Eventually, most of those people are going to stop. Because there's only so... I feel like... Some people break the mold, obviously. Some people are super committed, and you know what you want, and you're going to do it kind of thing. I'm going to do those stretch and hydrates right now as I'm talking. That water was really nice. Thank you, Rogue. <laughs> Let me remember what I was talking about. Oh, yeah. Most channels, me, right? Barring a group of people, you know, barring probably a minority of people who are just super committed and this is what they know they want to do and they want to keep trying at it and they try at it for like years. I forget what it was. I feel like. If I remember correctly, Bilza, if I have any remembrance of his story, he did it for like 10 years before he started gaining like a, an actual traction in like 2019 or something. Maybe 2018. Either way. He did it for 10 years. And that's a long time. I've been doing it for seven now. I'm a week into doing it for seven years. Like, when I started, I can 100% tell you, uh, my dreams were way too wild. I was watching people like Dan TDM, gosh, maybe like Unspeakable, and his friends, maybe like the year after. And I, especially in that first year or so that I actually found YouTube, back in like 2015, 2016, I was like, I want to do just that. I want to do Minecraft, and I want to do it just like that, and I'm going to make... I'm gonna get loads of people following and subscribe. I'm gonna get lots of people subscribing. And I'm gonna do it and it's gonna be so much fun and so awesome. Because of course I do, right? You see somebody do something and you're like, this is fun. You get the end result of years of work by just watching their videos. And there's nothing wrong with that. That's good, that is why we do this. We do it to share our stuff out in the world. But, it is a whole process you have to learn of what it takes to make a video, to write a script, to make a storyboard, to figure out scenes, to, you know, mod the game if you want to do cinematic shots, to do filmmaking, to do voiceovers, to get other people involved, to coordinate and organize and direct. And you know, stream, stream live. Are you going to have any overlays? Are you going to have any equipment? What are you going to do? There's so much that goes into everything that, of course, you don't see as the end user. Thank you for the stretch, by the way. And that's just normal, right? That is... <laughs> I mean, that is why we have the term parasocial relationship. Because it is an unequal balance. You know more about the person than they know about you. And so it is parasocial. It is the same way with like watching videos and wanting to. Oh, yes. Please go hug Ben. Happy, happy to have you. Thank you so much for listening. And I hope you enjoy. As, as young kids, you don't see a lot of the work that gets put into it. Even as a teenager, you are just like, this inspires me, I'm gonna do it. And that's not bad. In, 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 in actually a lot of ways, I think that's good. Because otherwise, you know, why would anybody do anything? Little kid, or, you know, young, young kids, teenagers young adults even see things that they want to do and are like that intrigues me that sounds cool you know maybe it'll for whatever reason maybe it's fame maybe it's money maybe it's a career who knows maybe it's following with their dreams it could be any number of things but you get started and you're like I got this and you know what some people do. 
on the very, very rare occasion, somebody does get it. But in a lot of cases, it takes people years before they get anywhere. In most cases. And then in even other cases, you know, it takes people like even more time. It takes people a long time to get to where they are now. And it's usually after years of working and trial and error, you know, following the algorithm or just following what they love. There's a lot of work that goes into it that you just wouldn't really know about. So I feel like a huge step that a lot of people have to overcome if this is something they want to do. And maybe this goes for more than just um, online careers. Is that you have to get over the hurdle of, I gotta put effort into this. You know, I gotta hold myself to some sort of standard and achieve and try, you have to try new, you know, try new things go outside your comfort zone. You have to basically break down your old ideas of this is what it means to be successful and make new ones, make longer lasting ones. That is something I had to do. <laughs> it sucked. It was not an easy thing to do. Because I had to break down a lot of my old ideas of what I thought it meant to be a content creator. You know, when I started, I was making, uh, you know, I was filming videos on my phone or having my friends make stuff for me. I said, M make stuff for me. They made stuff and then I was able to put it on my channel. You know, I was very, very aware that I was inexperienced. But I was like, I'm gonna get there in no time, right? It won't be hard, but it's difficult. And a lot of what I did, yeah, anything from Anything from like 2020 beyond 2020. Um, so I mean, some of my stuff from 2020 is still, I would say, is still fun to watch or enjoyable. But nothing before 2021, I would say, is stuff that if like if somebody saw that as my first video, I would be like, yeah, I'm proud of it. And of course, that's just as time goes on, you, you get better at things, and so your older videos are like, eh, you know, it's not my best work, I could do better. Because you have, you do do better. There's nothing wrong with it. Again, don't let me the videos are bad, just means that you have learned how to do them better. And that's cool. But I feel like, but 2022 for me was a huge turning point in actually getting me to break out of just doing Minecraft. Because a lot of what I did up until 2022 was under the assumption that I was going to be doing mainly Minecraft related stuff. Of course, I love playing Minecraft. I love streaming Minecraft. I love making videos on Minecraft. I'm going to keep doing that. However, it can't be the only thing that I do. Or it's not the only thing I want to do. It's not impossible to become a Minecraft creator, but it is a lot, there's a lot harder than that, I'd say. Or maybe it's always been hard. Because again, Work, you don't you don't see the work that a lot of the older creators had to put in to get there. You know, maybe they had a different playing field. But it doesn't mean they worked any less harder on it. They just came in at a different time. 
they may have to have had to do different things to, from what you did or will do. But that doesn't mean they didn't work, you know, fight tooth and nail to get their way there. But I think that's a that's like the first big hurdle. One, you have to basically really evaluate why you're doing this. Figure out your goals. You know, is this something that I'm doing because I basically want to get rich quick? You know, you see people who make lots of money through doing YouTube and you're like, I want to make money. Um, not, you know, the worst thing in the world, but, you know, you need to be honest with yourself about that. You need to know why you're doing it. Because if you don't know why you're doing something, it gets a lot harder to do it. Because then you're trying to play into all different fields when you don't know which one you should be focusing on. But also, it's kind of like a, a big point where I think a lot of people either give up or just stop doing stuff. You know, for any number of reasons, like, uh, it's taking, you know, they don't get a lot in return for the time that they put in, or they realize that they wanted it for some other reason, and that reason is not a sustainable one. I feel like that's a huge barrier that a lot of people don't make it out of. A lot of those channels that you see that are like young kids or young adults who are trying to do it, basically trying to become or siphon off of whatever word you want to use, the, the inspiration and the success that was shown to them by their, by their favorite creators. You have to know why you're doing it, and then another thing, you have to be yourself or find a way to present yourself. Because one of the hardest things to do is make things that you want and that you enjoy. And not things that you feel like will get you popular. Or will get you trending or views and stuff. I mean, you have to do that a bit of that anyways. I feel like it's not the craziest thing to see somebody do that. But trying to copy somebody because they are more followed or more subscribed than you are? I forget where I heard it, but I, I remember this thing where if you try to... Basically, take your inspiration off of somebody else and basically just do what your favorite creator did. Try to become them, in a sense. It may work. You know, you do what you do, you act like them, you talk like them, you make the same kind of stuff. It's not impossible for it to work. But you're only getting a portion of their audience. Because, of course, there's a group of people who like that kind of stuff, but not all of them are watching, or still actively following, or even like that stuff. So you, being a newer, less established version of them, I feel like can hurt your chance a little bit. So you have to basically figure out this is the inspiration that I have. This is why I'm doing it. What am I going to do with it now? How do I want to do my own thing with it? How am I going to, you know, maybe you want to do the same kind of um, same kind of content. 
maybe it's the same game, maybe it's the same kind of play style, same kind of video, but how are you going to add your twist onto it? How could somebody watch it and go, yeah, this is this is this person's content. Some this person made it. Because that's kind of how you do it. You get people to recognize your work. And I mean, people will claim all the time. Like we've we've all seen Twitter, right? You know. People will claim plagiarism and for you know stealing other people's work when it could just be inspiration. But as long as you like have an idea of why you're doing something and how it's yours, if you're putting in effort, I and you know, one that if it does work, it's going to take a while. Two, you know why you're doing it and you have a plan, some kind of plan to get there and three you're doing things that have your own twist on them that are you i feel like then that's when i say that anybody can do it because it's a lot of work a lot of effort a lot of time and energy but it's not impossible and i really believe that it's possible for anybody who tries and anybody who knows what they're doing and wants to to do it it just may take a while and it sometimes and very likely just may not happen so maybe you switch it over to a hobby or you try something else just how it works that's okay So yeah, that's my little two cents. No idea if it's true or effective in any way. It might all be complete. It might all be fake. It might all be just absolute nonsense that I spewed out from just listening to other things and just mixing it up in a way that uh, is not true because that is very, very easy to do. It's really easy to spread uh, misinformation or just accidentally spread combined information that makes no sense and it's not what people originally said so you know i would take my stuff with a grain of salt especially being the size that i am i am very tiny very small and that means i don't have that much experience in what it looks like to make it or to achieve something like that because i have it you know i have a job i drive my own car I still live with my family. I'm a young adult. I do do YouTube and I do technically Twitch since it's paying could be a part-time job. YouTube is basically just a hobby that I've been doing for seven years. And I do hope it eventually becomes a career. So there is a lot luck and time and energy that needs to go into that happening. And I have no way we know when that will. But I believe it will happen at some point. And I hope I actually make it there to see it. In like, not um, just moving on to doing other things and just trying my chances somewhere else. Because again, very likely. reasonable in a lot of cases if you know you can get somewhere if you just do something for 15 years most people are not going to do that a lot of people will a handful of people will but most people wouldn't because that's 15 years even if you knew it was guaranteed which most people don't nobody does it's still 15 years that you have to do something. It's 
not easy person. Most of things in life aren't. And it's brutal, and there is no guarantee that it will actually work at any point. It has a lot of hoping and luck. Hoping, luck, work, effort, skill, any number of things. I only hope that I get around to mine one day. That would make me very happy. And until then, just keep doing what I like. Keep making videos about anniversaries or you know, streaming Minecraft for 200 plus times just to build the world in the same world. It'd be very cool. And yeah, we are gonna need so much more mangrove than this. Knowing the rest of the tunnel's lengths. Yeah, I mean, this is... I feel like we should fill up both of the shulkers with mangrove before we leave. However... I don't think we're going to be able to do that today. Given that so far after like an hour I've collected... Seven... Seven... Like 15 stacks of mangrove? And I need 52. Yeah, I've collected about half a shulker box. And I need enough for... Um... There you go. About half a shulker. And I need to do that three more times.
Oh, I think we will be able to get a stack just in, the, in this little nick of time. can see our pillars spilling, spilling all over across the place. It's a great sight, and one we will have to continue next time, because we need a lot more mangrove before we go back, to, just to make sure that we do have enough to actually make good progress. I mean, the last time we got some, I think we made it... What did we do, like 25, 26 stacks? And we made it down that main hall and then like one other we need so much more than that so we're going to try to get two boxes of it this time we have half of one so we'll try to get the rest of it and then get another one after that and then we'll see where we go from there so i'm gonna look i'm gonna switch it over to stream ending and see who we can raid out to today I am also going to pause Minecraft. Let's see who all is live. A lot of people are live. Holy cow. <gasps> Raven's live. Thank you for being here, Diono. It's super awesome to have you as always. It is, it is always wonderful to have you here. As for anybody else who's here. Thank you everybody for being here. It is always a pleasure, genuinely. You know, of course I always have dreams for what I want to do here. But I love doing this anyways. I would do it even if I didn't have any incentive to, because I just, I love it. So thank you everybody so much for being here. I'm going to rage you all into Raven. I love Raven. I adore Raven. Please go give her your support and your love. Treat her as well as you do me. Thank you everybody so much. Everyone's in the mailbox. And I'll see all of you next time.